campaign that I'm fortunate enough to be involved with started in uh, 2006. Yeah, so we're in our eighth year. But if you think that, <laughs> that that was a bad flow, and we're not here to talk too much about me, my career, I will tell you about the first line I ever uttered. And it's amazing that I ever was employed again. <laughs> I was on a show called The Doctors, and I see some of you folks are old enough as I am <laughs> to remember it. It was at the time the longest running show on television. And I just played an extra, but some dear soul wrote in and said, oh, you know, this guy's really got it, and he's going to be a big star, and you better get behind him, and I'm forming a fan. So anyway, they decided, well, why not? Give the kid a line. My line was, simple enough, doctor, she has a contusion on her ankle. I had been to the best dramatic school in, in the East, maybe in the whole country. I had 40 dramatic renditions of that. And uh, I was ready. I told my aunts and my family, coast to coast, live debut, 2.30 in the afternoon on Friday. I was ready. I stepped up in front of the lead doctor. This is live television. I went completely blank. And I said, doctor, her left ankle is corroded. <laughs> so here I am. Anyway. I firstly want to congratulate everybody that's won the awards and all the folks that are here tonight because this is one of the reasons that we moved to Vermont. The spirit, the love, the sense of community, and Barbara and I salute what you do. And I want to tell you a story. It's a, I get very emotional when I do, but it has to do with our love for animals. I had two Anatolian shepherds and a Rhodesian Ridgeback and a little mutt. And I lived with another woman, another wife, years ago. And one night, this uh, Anatolian got out and he came back in and he attacked his best friend, little Danny, a little mutt, a rescue. Both of the, two of the dogs were rescued. And my then wife got in the middle of it and unfortunately ended up in the hospital. And she was badly chewed up. We never knew which dog it was that did it or how it actually happened. You know, it was, a, it was just a, an emotional moment. And I realized afterwards that I would have to give this dog away. Somebody came up and said that they knew me from, or their sister lived near me in Copake, New York. And that's where this story started. And um, one day I came home and I saw my Anatolian had fallen through the ice all winter long. He had run on the ice and then the spring thaw came. And it was lucky I was home, he was drowning. I ran in, I got him. And from that moment on, we were absolutely inseparable. <coughs> Loved him. I love, I guess you know, whatever your dog is. That dog is your favorite and you love him more than any other dog. So time passed, this incident happened, and I knew I had to give the dog away. At the time, I, uh, there was a call out, because they were doing a movie called Cats and Dogs. And my dog happened to, they usually use two or three animals, so that if one is not doing well or is ill, they can use a substitute. So they wanted Joe, and uh, they offered to pay me for the dog. I'd never sold a dog in my life, but this is Disney Studios, and I know what they were going to do with this animal. They were going to train him and put him through his paces. And I said, why not? I mean, you know, it just seemed to make sense. So I met the trainer from a very famous outfit called Boone's Animal Trainers in Fresno, and it was the worst drive of my life. This dog would stand by the shower while I was inside and wait for me. We were so incredibly close. I'm sure many of you have stories about how close you are with your animals. And I have other stories about Buddy, which will be for another time. But 
It was horrible to have to give this dog up. We'll fade out. I'm in the middle of the commercial. Ten years later, Joe, when I gave him up, when I sold him to the studio, was I think two and a half years or three years old. And now I'm on the set and we're shooting. I may, perhaps some of you had seen it. The one where I hold out my arm and I'm going to put a pin somewhere in the world to do something marvelous and interesting. And I had on my arm a gauntlet, a leather gauntlet. And when I extended my hand, this trained barn owl would come down and land on my hand, just keeping me company, helped me with decisions. And I had a dead field mouse in my hand. <laughs> so he wasn't as bright as you may have thought. And he came down, and when he did, he clutched with these giant talons, and I could feel the crushing power in my arm. And um, I always, because I work with so many animals in the, in the uh, series, the campaign, always talk to the trainers. It's called self-protection. <laughs> and I said, what shouldn't I do? Because I knew that in a second he could have taken out my eyes, my face, or whatever. He said, just don't move fast. And I said, well, I probably have a heart attack first, so <laughs> it's all right. And we started talking in between takes, and I said, do you work with other animals? He said, yeah, I did Stuart Little Mouse, and, and I did some of the other. I said, do you ever work with dogs? He said, oh, yeah. He said, did you know the show Dogs and Cats? And I said, yeah. You know the dog you trained was my dog? He said, you mean Kane? They changed his name. I said, yeah. He says, he was one of the most marvelous dogs. This is 10 years later. I said, where is he? He says, well, you know, you signed that paper that you weren't supposed to uh, look up and find out where he is or be connected. I said, that's okay. I said, but would you please contact the person that has him and just tell him I don't want to, you know, cause any grief. I just would like to see him again. Was the, I was in Hollywood and I figured maybe he lived in the area. Well, he didn't. He lived in Maryland. So this nice man called me. He said, you know, you're most welcome to come and see this dog. But you better hurry. And I wondered, would he remember me? We were so incredibly close. So Barbara and I went back to visit old Joe. And he said he loves ducks, and he loves kids. So I'll meet you down at the boat basin in Annapolis. Well, Joe had a very peculiar signature handshake, you know, the kind you have with your friends when you're kids, secret handshake. Joe would tap and then go twice fast, shake. So we went down there, and I see this elderly man younger than me, and he's walking with this old mangy dog, and it was Joe. And I wondered, would he remember that Valentine's Day, 10 years before I sold him, would he remember after all this time, and he didn't appear to, he came closer and closer, I looked at him, and there was no flicker of recognition whatsoever. And it kind of hurt. Saved his life. Loved him dearly. We were inseparable. And he came closer. His eyes were grayed over with cataracts. So he didn't recognize me. As he got a little bit closer, he stopped when he cocked his head. And all of a sudden, there came the paw. It happened to be by accident, Valentine's Day. So, that's why I love being in a room with all of you people. Because you love. And you love those that can't help themselves. 
when you do what you do and you keep a, a dog alive, it's not just for one person, but it's for families. It's for memories. Those memories stay forever. It's really wonderful what you do. So on behalf of Barbara and myself, we really salute you. I, I've often wondered about the nature of life. What's it all about? I've never been a religious person, but I am a spiritual one, I think. And I believe that if there is a purpose to life, it's to love. And the love of animals is so special. So each of you is very special to me. And uh, I thank you for inviting us here tonight to share that with you. Now let's go out and spread the word that everybody belongs to love and believes and has a chance to love and to have a second chance. And it's really important, each one of you, no matter what you do, is here tonight taking your time. And it's very special to us. So I get very emotional when I think about my dogs. And I thank you for indulging me and uh, really appreciate you being here. Thank you for having me. Continue the great work. Uh -huh.